a study done in 2007 by Greg Duncan, who uh, is a, uh, an economist who studies actually poverty most of the time. That's, that's kind of his specialty. And its effects on children and their later development and their achievement. And in 2007, he decided to look at some very, very large data sets, so thousands and thousands and thousands of children, six of them. And these were in the UK, so Britain, Canada, and the United States. And what he wanted to know was going into kindergarten, so at the end of the TK year, the end of a year with you, what are the predictors for later achievement in third and fifth grade? These have also even been taken up to since the study was done, um, some high school results and also some, um, some college attendance results. But I'm just gonna talk about the third and fifth grade. So we also know that mother's education makes a big difference in children's achievement and socioeconomic status makes a big difference. But that's kind of difficult for you to tackle. That's not really within your purview. You can help, sort of, but that's not really within your purview. So what is, what, what is related to TK, um, the TK, the end of the TK year, entry to kindergarten, and later achievement? And so controlling for this, and by that we mean above and beyond this. So we know this makes a difference. What else makes a difference? So not surprisingly, a predictor of math achievement, this right here, predictor of math achievement at third and fifth grade, math. So going into kindergarten, your math skills will predict your later achievement in mathematics. Well, you know, you guys could have told me that. We didn't have to do some big study with thousands and thousands of children. Early mathematics probably has something to do with later mathematics. Early reading skills also has to do with later mathematics. So that is also a predictor of how children do in mathematics in third and fifth grade. And attention. So some of the skills that Dr. Ross was talking about when he was talking executive functioning, so being able to pay attention. So um, those, uh, those are predictors. The next thing that he found was surprising to him because he wasn't looking for it. And I'm gonna actually show it to you. So these are predictors of reading achievement. And what he found was, as you can see, that early mathematics is as big a predictor of later reading as early reading skills going into kindergarten. Um, and so is attention. So the reason why this was, uh, well, first of all, this is kind of unusual. Let me give you another. So this is all of it on one graph. Um, so knowing that it affects both math and reading kind of makes a difference because it means that it's not just affecting later math skills, it's also affecting later reading skills. So you have a unique opportunity in this year to help children develop mathematical skills. 